Hi, my name is Theo Randall. This is the Great British Chef's Signature Series. So I grew up in a very artistic family. You know, we go on these amazing holidays to France and Italy. We go to these museums and art galleries. And my thing was to sort of choose the restaurants. And so food was just part of growing up, really. I remember getting a job at the age of 15 working at a little French bistro with this crazy Spanish chef and this sort of mad maitre d' and I just loved it. I just thought, this is for me. The kind of mad atmosphere of a kitchen. And Italian food really for me is all about less is more. There's nowhere to hide. You have to have great ingredients and you have to have the skills to cook it. My name's Theo Randall. I'm Chef Pastor on Theo Randall at the Intercontinental, and I'm going to show you how to make a delicious pasta with fresh peas, Italian sausage, onion, and parmesan. What I love about this dish is it reminds me of a restaurant in Val Policella. I had this dish, and it was absolutely amazing. I had it originally with tallarini, but I'm going to make it with pappardelle because I love the pappardelle pasta and the texture. It really holds the sauce nicely. But the most important thing is the sort of spring classic of peas and Italian sausage. That is a wonderful combination. Very, very simple, but really delicious in flavor. Italian sausages are amazing because they're full of 50% fresh pork and 50% cured pork. So they use things like the salamis, they use pancetta, that kind of thing. So it's got amazing flavor. Uh, I've got a little white onion here just finely chopped, some butter, some freshly shelled uh, potted peas, and some uh, pappardelle pasta, which is, uh, as you can see, it's incredible color. I use 20 egg yolks per kilo of flour. So it's got a very rich texture and flavor. So first of all, we're gonna fry some onions. Okay, so you can put a couple of tablespoons of olive oil into a hot uh, saucepan and then we're going to add an onion turn the heat down nice and low and just take that if it's too hot just take off the heat and just let that onion just soften in the oil so, so i've got this amazing fat in the sausage so we're just going to put that in with the onion and so it all just sort of cooks and melts and so that fat's going to melt and make that onion taste amazing back on the stove We're just going to cook the uh, sausage out to so get a bit more colour because the thing about the sausage is, you know, as I said, it's got sort of cured meat in there as well. So we want to get that fat out so it really produces the flavour. We want to get rid of all that moisture and get that intense flavour of the sausage. This is the kind of dish I'd cook at home. I mean, cooking at home sometimes is a great inspiration because you're very relaxed, you can think about things, you can, you know, you get the sort of perfection right. And as every month we do this regional menu, so I'm always trying something at home trying the, the recipe before we, the, you know, we actually do a test in the kitchen. So yeah, so my family get to eat quite well. <laughs> the sausages have um, cooked down and you've got this sort of like creaminess from the fat and the onions really, really soft. So now we're gonna add our shelled peas. So I've just got some fresh peas here, so just gonna add those. You can use frozen peas, you know, I mean the greatest invention ever was a frozen pea, but you know, fresh peas, just give that edge and that's the whole point of this dish. So I'm going to put that back on the stove with a couple of ladles of boiling water. So you could add chicken stock but you don't need to because you've got all that flavour of the sausage. On the heat, full blast, a couple of ladles of pasta water and then we're just going to let that simmer. And that's all it is because the thing is the wa pasta water is going to cook it down. I, mean, I haven't actually put any pasta in there, it's just boiling water. But it's just going to cook down and make those peas lovely and tender. Sausage and the peas are all cooking together nicely. So that sausage is sort of almost causing this sort of amazing kind of broth. And that's going to uh, be reduced down to be absorbed into that pasta, which will give it an incredible taste. You can smell it. There's all sort of like, there's a little bit of cinnamon in there and there's, there's lovely sort of um, seasoning from the sausage. So this is the, uh, the sauce now. So it's got a nice, it's nice and juicy, which is good. We've reduced it by half. The peas are cooked, so we're now going to pop the leave that on the stove on a low heat, and then I'm now going to cook the uh, pappardelle pasta. So in it goes. It's very important when you cook pasta to cook lots of water and lots of salt in there as well. The pasta is very orange in colour, and the reason for that is because of these eggs. Now these eggs are St. Hugh's eggs from Cornwall, and they have the most incredible yolk. The yolk's really good because they're fed a diet of corn and carrots and the carrots add carotene to the yolk and uh, they're just really good quality, well looked after hens. Add the pasta to the sauce and always make sure the pasta is undercooked. Never cook the pasta all the way and then add a bit more pasta water. So what we're after here is the pasta to have a lovely 
al dente bite, which is really important. And then the lovely sauce, the peas and the, the sausage. It's almost like, can you see that kind of creamy sauce? That's just from a little bit of butter and the starch from the pasta. And it's the reason I'm tossing it is so that all that juice, all that flavor goes into the pasta. So when you bite the pasta, it tastes of the sauce. You don't have the sauce, you have the pasta. They combine together. And then spoons of the pappardelle, layered with the peas, the sausage. I'm just gonna finish it off with a nice sprinkling Parmesan cheese, a little bit of black pepper. So there you have my pappardelle with fresh peas, Italian sausage and Parmesan.